Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Out of Ammo, Out of Time. I'm your host as always Krabby Terror 8 and here we are in part 16 of the Investigator Game Season 2 with everybody's favourite explorer and ally specialist, Leo Anderson. Yes, and here he is. Now for those of you who are new to the channel, I heartily welcome you. Thank you for watching. For those of you who've watched my previous video videos, thank you very much for continuing to watch what I do. Um, uh, some people said it would never last, but I really enjoy this and I enjoy replaying the same scenarios over and over again. I still make mistakes. Uh, last week was no exception, uh, but that's okay. Um, it's I have a lot of fun doing it, and I certainly hope you enjoy watching these. Now, what is the Investigator Games? Well, it's like the Hunger Games, except we take each Investigator true solo through a scenario. Now, in Season 1, that was The Gathering, and there's 30-odd videos on that one. And then this uh, season, it's The Midnight Masks. And depending on the performance of the Investigators, they end up in a league table like this one. Yes, and this has the carryover um, points from The Gathering, and this is the performance so far. And we can see that, uh, yes, there's uh, quite a range of responses all round. Um, and yes, Roland is still at the top of the table, having um, interviewed five cultists in 13 turns, did very well. Lola Hayes did pretty well last week. She is now she she started with only four victory points and is now up at thirteen as well. Um, the bells did toll for her, but she she managed to get four cultists, which included the ghoul priest. So uh, because she didn't defeat the ghoul priest, um, spoilers in the first gathering. Now um, down the bottom is Daisy Walker and Jim Culver, of course. And uh, yes, yeah, so uh, we can see that uh, quite a range of um, performances. And so here we are with Leo uh, Anderson, and everybody starts with their Fantasy Flight Games starter decks. And then we see how they go. Now, spoilers if you don't know Arkham Horror the card game very well, if not played it before, if you don't know Midnight Mass, The Gathering, Night of the Zealot, I really would recommend that you do that first. I'm assuming you know this scenario and you know how to play the game. Yes, so there's your spoiler warning. Now, um, just having a look at good old Leo, expedition leader. He is a traded veteran and wayfarer. Uh, so we can see his stat line there. Um, this was, uh, um, I suppose, by the Forgotten Age, where Leo is the guardian for that, for their guardian um, investigator. Uh, for that, we can see that um, a bit of a shift in terms of stats. So we're start starting to see more and more uh, min-maxing here, and Leo is no exception. So we can see his stat line very strong on fight, very strong on willpower. But clearly not the most agile individual you've ever met with only a one agility. So evasion is not his thing. Uh, fighting and also willpower against the mythos are his strengths. And he's got pretty, he's not too bad on um, clue getting either. So um, yeah, for the Midnight Masks, having a one in agility is not, is not too bad. There's really just the Wings of Darkness, which can take you back to Rivertown, which sometimes can be an advantage anyway. Uh, and so he's never going to be really looking to evade people like the Mast Hunter. So not too bad, pretty good stat line. The other thing that's really strong about Leo Anderson is his ability to use allies. So he has a special... Um, has a special response, fast response, which is as your turn, after your turn begins, so at the beginning of your turn, you can play an ally asset, reducing its cost by one. So this is essentially a free action. Uh, so you can get an ally out for one, which is a really nice effect. Um, his Elder Sign is a hearty plus two, and you can search the top three cards of your deck for an ally asset, draw it, and shuffle your deck. So there we are. There's another ally theme there. Keep moving. You can die on your own time. Yeah, a bit of a taskmaster. Leo, not surprisingly, is strong in physical health. His mental 
health is not terrible at six, but it's not the best either. So that's probably one of his, uh, you know, along with his agility, one of his uh, kind of weaker stats. However, having said that, he's won for lots of allies. So he generally has lots of ways to soak up um, damage, trauma, if you like. So not so bad anyway. Now, if we just flip Leo over and just have a look on this side, his deck building options is he's a guardian rogue. He can take guardian cards, not to five rogue, not to two, and then neutral cards. Uh, and uh, there's just a little backstory on him. Leo Anderson has spent his whole life getting into the deadliest and most obscure corners of the globe. Along the way, he's lost good people. He often questions whether such academic pursuits have been worth the lives lost. His most recent expedition, an ill-fated voyage to Nan Madol to recover a lost sofa's almanac, ended in complete disaster. Mitch was the only one of his people to survive, or at the very least, to remain human. Leo is sick of burying people who trusted him, but now he knows these expeditions aren't purely academic in nature, and he won't quit until the job is done. Yeah, he's a fairly taciturn, serious character, Leo, when I've spoken to him. I had a chat to him in the trailer before the start of the Investigator games. Uh, and in fact, uh, you can see him here. He's just waiting patiently at the house, waiting for the games to begin. Uh, he's not a man of many words, he doesn't say very much. He's clearly been a bit traumatized by his, um, by his experiences. So I think he sees the Investigator games as a bit of a welcome distraction from all of that because, uh, you know, it's a bit of a competition, but it's not too serious. So uh, um, we'll see how he goes. The other interesting thing was, uh, once again, thank you, Miskatonic Trailers, for the trailer. We had to hire an extra trailer because he brought so many potential allies along who he could use in the Investigator games that we couldn't fit them all into one trailer. So, uh, yeah, interesting. There we go. So that's Leo Anderson for you. Now, if we just go to um, his deck. Now, <clears throat> as I said before, um, we stay, uh, all the investigators start with their standard uh, fantasy flight game starter decks, which are never ideal. Um, and Leo's was uh, no exception. He did get seven experience points from the, the gathering. So he had lots of experience points to spend. But still, seven, we had to be pretty judicious, and I really lent into a couple of things. Not surprisingly, he's got a ton of allies. Big cop guard dog, Leo DeLuca, Mitch Brand, and Ventura. So I put in another Leo DeLuca, because of course, why not? You, Leo DeLuca could make, particularly in the Midnight Masks, where every action is at a premium. Uh, getting Leo DeLuca down early can make the difference between, you know, uh, a good game and an awesome game. So I've got two Leo DeLucas down on there. Now, because we've got so many allies, it just made complete sense to throw in a Charisma, which gives us an additional ally slot. Um, and that's an obvious choice um, for someone like Leo. Uh, the other things that we put in are a Machete, an extra Machete, an extra Evidence, an extra Vicious Blow. Um, the one thing... Which I, I, you know, I talk about physical training and hard knocks because we have indebted as our weakness, so we only start with three resources instead of five, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, and maybe I should have put in an extra emergency cash, um, but I wanted to take some things out and put some things in. So I've taken out physical training and hard knocks because we just won't have the resources to use those. I've taken out the Derringer because we've put in a machete, so we've now got two machetes as well. And I've taken out a decorated skull um, because it's an interesting card, but it's not essential. So that's where we've uh, sort of ended up. If I'd had extra experience, I probably would have tried to throw in another emergency cache and maybe taken out the dynamite blast or something like that. But we'll just have to see how we go. That's what I've come up with. I don't know what you think. Let me know. Um, but I think it's a stronger deck, obviously, than uh, his original deck, particularly with the two Leo DeLucas. That can really make a difference. Okay, so um, let's let's pop back here. So uh, that's like I said, he's got he took no trauma. He's only got three resources because of indebted. There's a charisma, the permanent. And his cards are here, obviously. Give them a little shovel up. So if we just go here. Here he is, patiently waiting by the house. And if we just go up to here, we're on turn one, no doom. Here's the cultist deck. 
Here's the encounter deck. So I think we can go ahead and uh, we're playing on standard difficulty, obviously. We'll go ahead and uh, read the Agenda and Act deck and we can kick off, I guess. So uh, Agenda 1A, Predator or Prey, Lita seems convinced of a conspiracy within the city of Arkham. She believes that a secret cult serves the ghouls that live in the crypts beneath the city and that several of the cult's prominent members are scattered throughout Arkham. As you begin searching for them, you can't shake the feeling that you too are being hunted. Action, resign, you don't want to risk taking too long. Uh, yeah. Okay. Act deck, uncovering the conspiracy. You have one night to find the members of this cult and unveil their plan. The more members of the cult you can find and interrogate before midnight, the better. Action, investigators can spend two clues per investigator as a group. Draw the top card of the cultist deck. Objective, find as many cultist enemies as you can can and add them to the victory display etc 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 so there we have it so i think we're all ready to go we just need to wait for the um oh there it is there's the hall on oh, the crowd goes wild and we are ready to go in the investigator games with leo anderson Yes, okay, so here we go. We've got our deck. Let's see, we're gonna shuffle up. So what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Well, ally, Leo De Luca. It would be great to get Leo De Luca in the opening hand. Um, it uh, would also be great to, uh, maybe it would be get, good to get emergency cash. So we've got extra cash. It would also be great to get the machete uh, particularly because that's a great one. So we can get an ally and we can get a machete and then things like evidence or flashlights can also be handy because we're going to need to get some clues along the way. So we can get all of those things. We're doing perfectly. Let's see what we start with. And I can see a machete already. I can see Leo DeLuca. Bought in blood is our weakness. So we can take that one out and we got Mitch Brown as well. So we've got two allies. That's very nice. Let's draw another card. So we've started with the machete, which is fantastic. So that's good. We've start, got Leo DeLuca here. We've also got Mitch Brown here, which gives us an additional two ally slots. So we can really, we can't put two Leo DeLucas down because he's got that little star next to him. So he's unique, but we can put other allies down. Uh, Lucive is a good card to have, I suppose. First aid. Not, so these two cards here, they're good cards to have, but in the Midnight Masks, there's less of a premium on them. Because, you know, Leo's not going to be wanting to avoid enemies and things. The only good thing about Elusive is maybe later in the game, you pull a cultist and you want to move to a location rapidly. But at the beginning of the game, not so helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in First Aid and Elusive because they're not helpful at the beginning. Because I would like to get Emergency Cash. Let's draw two more cards and see what we get. And we get an Overpower and a Decorated Skull. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, overpower's good because for fighting we can keep that for the, um, I was going to say the ghoul priest, but the uh, mass hunter or, or wolfman drew or whoever. Okay, so that's not too bad. We got most of the things that we wanted. The main problem we are going to have is resources because we've only got three of them. So that's the thing that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, let's shuffle up a bit. Okay. Now, um, we have our special ability here. So we could actually um, bring out... We couldn't bring out um, Leo, but we could bring out Mitch Brown for two. But to be honest, I want to get Leo out as quickly as possible. So um, that's the most important thing that we need to, to do. Um, and we also need to get the machete out. So you can see immediately we've got an issue with resources. Now we can get Leo De Luca out for five. Um, so, and I realize the other thing is we haven't got any clue getting abilities, which is a bit annoying. So um, what I might do is to start with is avail myself of the facilities here at the house we can um, draw a card and gain a resource once a turn. So um, my first action is to take a resource, draw a card, 
And we joined to the big cop. Wow, we are really, we're really we're flush with allies here, aren't we? Uh, now, his ability can only be done at the beginning of your turn. So we're going to have to hold off. So we will be able to bring Leo to Luca out next time. So for my second action, um, I think I'll bring out the decorated skull because I can. It's going to be a bit of a slow start. And then I think for my, which is, is quite a nice card, it can be, after an investigate ally asset or enemy location is defeated, place a resource on decorated skull, spend a charge, draw a card and gain a resource. So losing allies becomes a bit of a benefit in that way. So for example, discarding the big cop, damage, decorated skull, that kind of thing. Now for our third action, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate so we can get this clue. So it's a two and we are a three. So we'll just straight up do it. I don't want to throw in Mitch Brown for this. Obviously don't want to throw in Leo De Luca. So for our third action, we will just straight up two versus three on investigation and we get a minus two. I think that's right, isn't it? It's minus two, so we fail. Um, yeah, put one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. There aren't any, so we didn't succeed. There we go. So that was a bit of a, a bit of a nothing um, round because what we're trying to do is get resources up so we can bring out Leo De Luca. But that will pay dividends because the earlier we bring out Leo De Luca, the more extra actions we get. So it feels like we're sort of not starting off particularly fast. But once Leo is down, literally at the beginning of the next go as a free action for five, we're going to be doing reasonably well. And then the next thing to get out is obviously the machete. Okay, so there we go. So that was, yeah, so we basically just took a resource and drew a card. We got beat cop. We then played the decorated skull for zero. Uh, I was presuming that's hanging around our neck. And then we... Um, and then we then tried to investigate and we failed. That's all right, though. So we move into the enema, enema phase and there's no enemas or enemies to speak of. So we move into the upkeep phase. There's our five resources. We will draw another card and we draw into the backpack. Yes. Okay. Um, that could be handy, particularly if we need to get a flashlight because we're going to, after the house and river town, we might start struggling to get clues, so it might be handy to get something like a flashlight. Okay, so that's the end of the upkeep phase. Let me just flip these over. Whoops! What's happening here? There we go. Tabletop simulator is a bit janky. Okay, so let's um, move into the first mythos phase. Let's pop up to here. So we're in turn two. First Doom is down on the table. Let's shuffle up the encounter deck again. And let's see what we get. And this is for our opening one and we <laughs> Okay, we get Winds of Darkness. Well, um uh, Now, we're a one and it's a four. So we would have to throw in the backpack to Mitch Brown three four to make it four versus four. It's really not worth it. Let's just fail it. So we get a minus two, we fail, which means we take a horror and a damage. And we move to Old River Town. Yeah. Which is a slight, slightly annoying, I suppose, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. So there we go, we'll move into River Town. There we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, we'll flip over River Town. Yep. Okay. Good O. Okay. Right, so there's the end of the mythos phase. Let's move into the usual investigation phase. Okay, we have three actions. Now, before we start, when the turn begins, after the turn begins, you can play an ally asset and it costs you one less. So we will bring out the old Leo De Luca. And we're not playing um, taboo with these. It's hard enough starting with the um, starter decks. So that's five resources. So that was a free action. And we brought out Leo De Luca, which means 
we now have an extra action. So we're starting with four actions, so that's rather nice. Let's uh, put this over here. This is our free action. <laughs> Not on top of there. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, so we've now got four actions, which is great. No resources, though. Um, Now, we need to investigate, but we also do need to get this machete out, I think, as well. Um, hmm. so we've got a couple of choices here. We could either keep investigating here, or we could move back to the house and draw another resource and draw a card. Hmm. Yeah. The quicker we get the machete out, the better, because once we've got that out, um, we can start building the rest of our pieces. Mm. But we also need to get cultists on the table as well. So what I might do is I might investigate. So first action is to investigate. So we're a three, a one versus a three. Let's go ahead and do a one versus a three. We get a zero, so we succeed. So we can grab that clue. It's an easy one. There we go. Um, I'm thinking, I don't normally do this, but I think for my second action, I'm gonna to move to the graveyard because it's a pretty easy place to investigate. Um, so the graveyard here, uh, you have to test three willpower, but if you um, if you fail, you just take three horror. Now we are a four willpower versus three. Well, we could put in Mitch Brown, but I just think we'll just go straight up, and and that's a zero because it's skulls. So we pass. So we move into the graveyard. No big deal for us here. Third action, we will investigate the graveyard. Uh, here we go. So we'll investigate the graveyard and we get a minus two. So that's three minus two is a one. So that's a success. There are no cultist enemies on the table. So we get another clue, which is great. So we've now got our two clues. Okay. We've got one action left. Um, yeah, I think... I think I might take a resource on the final action because I do want to get the machete out fairly quickly. So I'm going to take a resource. So there we go. So our four actions were we, well, we took a free action and brought out Leo De Luca and some wipes of resources. We then investigated uh, in Rivertown and succeeded. We then moved into um, the graveyard and we didn't take any horror. We succeeded there. Um, um, so, so we investigated we moved and then we investigated again. Uh, and then on our final action, we took a resource. So those were our four actions right there. It kind of feels like five actions, but Leo De Luca was a free action. So very efficient round, lots of good stuff happening. So next time, let's get out the machete and let's get the first cultist. And who knows, it might even be Herman Collins. But anyway, see how we go. All right, so that's the end of the investigation phase. We move into the enemy phase. No enemies to speak of, so we move into the upkeep. Flip these back over. We'll take another resource. We will draw another card. What do we draw into? We draw into the flashlight, so that's good because we're gonna, we don't need it right now, but we will need it. So that's good. Okay, that's the end of the upkeep phase. So we move into the mythos phase. Let's uh, shift up to here. We're in turn three. To Doom. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us. And can you believe this? Did we just. So here we go again. So, uh, again, we're not really in any position to try and avoid this. So let's just go ahead. And of course, we fail, <clears throat> um, which means again we move back. <laughs> back to Rivertown. That is such a pain. <laughs> um, and. Uh, we take another damage, or put the damage and the horror onto um, Leo. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Such a strange start. All right. So we're back in the investigation phase. We're back at Rivertown. First action. We will um, take a resource. Second action. We will spend the resource. And I didn't want to bring out another ally because I really want the machete. That's all our resources gone again. Third action, I'm going to um, I'm going to spend these two clues. Let's see which cultist we get. So we'll spend the two clues. Let's shift up to here. Let's uh, shuffle up the cultist deck. And who do we get? Wolfman Drew. Okay. Whoops. Here we go. Oh, we believe in Wolfman Drew. Okay, so Wolfman Drew. There we go. Well, I think, uh, yeah, he's a four fight. So if we can get the beat cop out, we'll be a six. So I think if we can get the beat cop out, that would be quite good. Um, so I think what we do is we uh, look to work our way around to Wolfman Drew. Um, we probably can't get the beat cop out next time, but we can do that the time after that. So again, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to take another resource because... I want to be in a position where I've got three resources next time around so we can bring out the big cop uh, as our second ally. Okay, so there we go. So a bit frustrating. We ended up back at Rivertown. So what we did was we took a resource. We uh, played the machete. We then um, played our two um, clues. We brought out Wolfman Drew and then we took a resource. So yes, resources are really hampering us a little bit. But we're managing okay. Once we've got the beat cop out with Leo De Luca, we're going to be pretty unstoppable. So um, hopefully, then we can start ba basically um, using those um, in that way. So yeah, we move into the enemy phase. There are enemies, of course, but uh, they can't do anything at the moment. So we move into the upkeep phase. We get another resource. Let's flip all our these around. Let's draw a card. And of course, we draw into <laughs> into another Leo De Luca. I don't think we need two of them, but uh, we can use his intellect uh, pip and nothing else. So we will move into the Mythos phase. We are now in turn four. There are three Doom on the table. We're halfway through, uh, and we get an Obscuring Fog. Sorry, I forgot to discard that, didn't I? Get an Obscuring Fog. That's no big deal because the it can be as foggy as it wants in Rivertown. We've got the clue, so no big problem at all. Move that there. There we go. Um, I might just put a little N on there to remind me there is an obscuring fog in Rivertown, but you know, no biggie. Okay, so there we go. So uh, yeah. That's the end of the uh, Mythos phase. So we are back into the investigation phase. Um, now, we can't bring out um, the Beat Cop. We could bring out Mitch, Mitch Brown, but to be honest, I really want the Beat Cop because I get the passive boost. So um, we can, I think we just wait another round to do that. So we've got to find ourselves to do something this round. Well, I think it's get more clues, I would have thought. Um, 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 clues. So do we go to somewhere like East Town? I mean, I suppose we could go back to the graveyard and get that clue because um, that's a victory point. So I might actually do that, actually. That makes sense. So we'll move back to the graveyard. So we've just got to test so we're testing again. Um, we are a four, and it was a three, wasn't it? Four versus a three. Four versus a three willpower. Um, do we throw Leo Anderson in? I don't think we do, because if we get a Crip Chill, we might need him for that. So it's just a four versus a three willpower, and we get an Elder Sign. Wow. <laughs> we get an Elder Sign, yay! So... Um, Search the top three cards of your deck for an ally asset. So let's look at the top three cards. Nope, no ally assets there. So they go back into the deck, but you know, could have got something. And there was unfortunately no weakness there. 
anyway. Flip those over. And we will shuffle them up. So we succeeded to get back in the graveyard. That was our first action. Our second action is we'll investigate in the graveyard. So we are again a three versus a one. So a minus two or better. We get another elder sign. Can you believe that? Two elder signs in a row. So we will again look at the top three cards. Uh, again, no ally. Vicious blow would have been nice though. Okay. <laughs> and we get that clue. So we get the clue. Nice. But more than that, we uh, we get our first victory point, I think. There it is, and the crowd goes wild. There we go. Wow. That's unusual. Normally the graveyard's one of the last places we go to, but um, it made sense. So we got one of the clues. We've uh, we've still got two actions left to go. Um, so what we might do is we might actually move back into Rivertown. And then to pre prepare for Wolfman Drew, we'll move to East Town. And uh, there we go. That's a two shroud location as well. So uh, I think next time we'll look to get out the beat cop and maybe have a go at Wolfman Drew. Because the other thing we've got to think about is uh, we've still got some time, but of course the Mouse Hunter will be upon us soon. So we did two moves there. So we're ready to take on Wolfman Drew. There we go. That's the end of... So in this investigation phase, it's pretty good. We, um, we moved to the graveyard. We successfully uh, investigated and got a clue. And then we took two moves up to East Town and we are awaiting there. It's got a special ability in East Town. I never always forget what it is. I think while you're at East Town, reduce the cost of each ally asset you play by two. Well, that's interesting. So we've got a trade-off here. We could play um, the beat cop for two. Or we can get a free go, which is much better, and pay three. That's that's much better. It's, you know, they're worth a premium. Time is worth a premium in the Midnight Mars. So enemy phase, there are no enemies to speak of who can do anything. So we move into the upkeep phase. We get our third resource. We'll flip these over. Take a card. The card this time is a vicious blow. Did I shuffle those? So, yes, we draw a Vicious Blow, so that's perfect, that's great. I don't think we'll use the Vicious Blow with um, Wolfman Drew, but I think we'll definitely use a Vicious Blow with the Masked Hunter. Okay, let's move into the Mythos phase. Uh, let's pop up to uh, here. We're in turn five, there are four Doom down. Let's see what the lovely encounter deck has for us, and it has Mysterious Chanting. Place two Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. That's good. That's kind of good because um, that means um, we're going to get rid of Wolfman Drew anyway. So um, I'm not too concerned about that. Let's put them on Wolfman Drew. He is the nearest cultist enemy. So uh, that puts the Doom up to six. But of course it doesn't trigger at the end of the... Uh, Mythos phase, it triggers at the beginning, so we've got a whole round to deal with that. Uh, unless, of course, it says so, and I think with Mysterious Chanting, that's not the case. With the other one where you add a Doom, oh, so I forget what it's called. It does, but this one doesn't cause the uh, agenda deck to flip. Thank goodness, that would be pretty awful if it did. Okay, so that's the end of the Mythos phase. We will move into the Investigation phase. Here we are. Now, first thing we're going to do is we are going to avail ourselves of our special ability. Turn begins. We will spend three. We'll bring out the Beat Cop, who I will sit here in this section because we've got nothing there at the moment. I'm not using the backpack. So now we are, if we're using the... Um, if we're using the machete, we are now a four, five, six fight with two damage as long as there's no other enemies there. How good is that? So that's our, so that's our free action. So the first action is we will move to... Uh, is it downtown? Yes, 
Where do you go when you want to kill Wolfman Drew? Downtown. Okay, and uh, yes, there we are in downtown. Um, we can heal three horror here if we need to, and we've engaged with Wolfman Drew. Uh, no parleying with Wolfman Drew, the cannibal. Let's just have a look here. He's 442. Uh, when he doesn't have retaliate or anything, but when Wolfman Drew attacks, heal a damage from him. Well, he won't get a chance. So we will go ahead now. We've got three actions. We will fight him. He is a fight of four, and we are a six. Now, that's okay with the skulls, because that would still mean we will pass. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the four versus a six and see how we go. I don't want to use the vicious blow unless we really have to. So a 4v6, and the Chaos Bag gives us a minus 2, so that is a pass, and we hit Wolfman for 2 points of damage. There we go, that's a good start. Okay. Great. Second action. Second action, we will do it again. A, a 4, 5, 6 versus 4, and we get a Skull which a skull is the number of doom, highest number of doom. It's not the total number of doom. It's just the highest number of doom. Yep, it's minus two. So that's again uh, successful and Wolfman Drew dies. Ah! Fantastic. There we go. So that doom disappears. And, um, yeah, that's another victory display. Oh, listen to the crowd going absolutely wild. There we go. There's the first cultist bites the dust. Fantastic. And we still have one action left. Now, we are here. Uh, there's a shroud of four here. There's no way we can... Um, <laughs> there's no way we can get that clue. So... I'm wondering whether we move back to East Town and we um, we try and get that clue next time. I think that's probably the best thing to do. So let's pop back to East Town. A little trip to downtown to kill Wolfman Drew and then we'll pop back to East Town and then next time we'll get this clue and get the next cultist out. Uh, and at the same time, the mass hunter will probably be upon us by then. So that's the end of that. So that's a very successful round. We, um, we moved to downtown. We then macheted Wolfman Drew into submission or to death. I'm not sure which. And then we moved back to East Town, ready to get our next clue next time. So there we go. That's the end of the investigation phase. So we will move into the enemy phase. There are now no enemies on the board. Um, so we will move into... Oh. Come on, tabletop stimulator. What are you doing? Uh, we will move into the uh, upkeep phase. Flip. One resource. Having four actions is just amazing. Draw a card. And we draw into... Ah, we draw into our weakness. Board in blood. You must either discard an ally asset you control from play or discard each ally asset from your hand. Oh, okay. So we can either, or we can throw in, you know what? I'm going to throw in these two guys because I don't really, I mean, yeah, I think that's probably, I don't want to lose the guys from play. So I think that's, that's probably a better outcome. Let me just read that again. You must either discard an ally so you control an ally. So you can discard one or all us, all, all, um, or discard each ally asset from your hand. Okay, uh, I think that was the better, better uh, option because we're so low on resources. Trying to get out more allies is a real pain in the backside. Uh, I'd rather bank what we've got rather than try to do that. So I think that's the best thing to do. Okay, interesting. All right, well, we'll move into the mythos phase. So we're in turn six. Um, there are said five doom on the table, so this is going to flip next time. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us, and it has <laughs> Crypt Chill. Uh, that's why I needed Mitch, wasn't it? 
Oh, God. Test four. If you fail, choose and discard it. Oh, just get rid of the... That's that's actually another good reason for bringing out the decorated skull. <laughs> I just realised. I was like, oh, no, not the machete, not the other look, and I'll be coming. And then I realised we've got the good old decorated skull, which, of course, is also an item asset, so we can get rid of that. Um, so it's test four, 4v4. Let's just go ahead and straight up test we get a minus one, so we fail. So yes, we lose the decorated skull, no big problem. Um, as long as we don't get another crypt chill, we'll be fine. Okay, so let's move into the investigation phase. So uh, yes, here we are. Um, four actions. Well, I think the first thing we want to do is to um, go ahead and investigate We've got two choices here. We can try and investigate two versus a three. I'm feeling like minus one. I think that's what we should do. So first action, we will investigate um, a two versus a three. Chaos Bat gives us a minus one. So we succeed. Very nice. That's good. So that gives us our two clues. Excellent. The second action, we will spend those two clues. And we will bring out the next cultist. Let's see, here we get. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Press the F instead of the R. And we get, ah, Victoria Devereaux. Okay, well, she's up in, she's right next to us. There we go. Um, well, not far from us anyway. Interesting. Okay, uh, now I think, we're going to get the Mars Hunter on us, so we don't want to be dealing with her this time. But I think what probably makes sense to do... Where, where are we? Where We've got two actions left. Um, we've all already lost... lost our, actually, we've lost both of our weaknesses because Indebted sits with us. So we've got no issue there. So I'm actually thinking we take two actions and we draw two cards in preparation for the Masked Hunter. Uh, and we get <laughs> perceptions and flashlights. That's all right. That's okay. We're going to need those, but uh, that wasn't quite what I was after. Maybe we should have taken some resources and we could um, we could be prepare ourselves for Devereaux, but anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I was hoping for more fight because uh, we might need it. But anyway, that's all right. So we move into the enemy phase. There are no enemies to speak of of any consequence. So we move into upkeep, take another resource. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Reset there, we'll draw a card. What do we draw into? We draw into Dynamite Blast. Yes. Well, I suppose if we get Crip Chill, it might be handy for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Okay. So we will move into uh, the Mythos phase. Let's shift up to here. We're in turn seven now. So this is now um, flips over. Once Tabletop Simulator catches up. We, draw, oh, we don't draw both. We'll flip this over and we get the good old, oops, get the good old last hunter. Hello, Leo. Oh, I see you brought your mates. Goody cat, eh? Oh, can't do it by yourself. <laughs> okay. So the Mars Hunter is upon us, a 462 creature. He doesn't have retaliate, but you can't do anything with clues while he's around. Okay, so we will look to take him out, but we better see what the good old encounter deck has for us. And the uh, yes, we get the good old hunting shadow, spend a clue or take two damage. We are uh, we will put a damage on the beat cop and we will take a damage. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's the end of that. So we move into the investigation phase. The obvious thing we're gonna do now is take out this masked hunter. So he's a four and we're a six. So first action, I'm gonna use overpower. 
Uh, let's start big. So that's four, five, six, eight. Eight versus four. Eight versus four. Chaos Bag gives us another Elder Sign. Can you believe there's three Elder Signs? Wow. <laughs> so he takes... Oh, I forgot. I didn't use the Vicious Blow. That's all right. We can use it next time. Just, that was dumb, wasn't it? Oh, never mind. Okay. So he takes... Um, he takes two points of damage. We draw a card. First aid. And then um, we look at the top three cards and take any allies. Are there any allies? There are. So we can keep the good old guard dog. But I don't think we can uh, play the guard dog because we've already got two allies on the table and I want to keep those. So um, shuffle that up. So we got the guard dog. Very nice. Um, okay, so that was our first action. Second action, we will fight again. So we are four, five, six. I'm going to use the vicious blow, seven. You do draw a card, don't you? Yes, you do. Seven, and I'm going to use the guard dog because, yeah, why not? Eight. So that's an eight um, versus a four. Is that right? Eight versus four. Yep. Chaos Bag gives us a minus two. We put a Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. And we take another two points. No, three points of damage. So that's uh, five. There we go. So he only needs one more point. Okay. So we've used up all our fights. So now we're just straight up. Six versus a four. Okay, so let's go ahead. Six v four. Third action. Six v four. We get a skull. I think minus one is the name of the game here. Yep. So we succeed. That's another two points of damage. So we kill the mouse hunter. Ah! Doom goes. There we go. Crowd cheers! Second cultist goes down. Fantastic. There we go. Brilliant. Leo is doing really, really well. Um, we've still got one action to go. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We could either move. We could take a resource. Um, I think we move because we want to get Virginia Devereaux as quickly as possible. And then... What we can do is, once we've got Virginia Devereaux, is we might have the money to be able to, although, no, we won't bring out the flashlight. So what we'll do is we'll keep our money, take out Virginia Devereaux, and then hopefully we'll be able to um, spend five to get two clues. Let's see how we go. Um, all right, so that's the end of our turn. So that was a very successful round um, after the Mouse Hunter came along. We, um, we fought him and succeeded with an Elder Sign and did two points. Then we Vicious Blowed, and uh, I'm not sure we needed the Vicious Blow, but anyway, we succeeded. We did three points, and then we succeeded a third time and killed him. Um, yeah, because two, four, six. Um, yeah, it was always, it was, yeah, it was because he's six. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it's always going to be that way. I could have, of course, used the big cop. I could have done something like, if I'd kept the guard dog, I could have, I could have um, sacrificed the big cop for the seventh, for the for the sixth. Um, so what I could have done is I could have done two points, then I could have done three points, then I could have sacrificed the big cop to do the final point to get the eight. Uh, and then brought out the, the guard dog next time. But I'd rather keep the beat cop and get the extra fight value, to be honest. So there we go. All right, that's the end of the investigation phase. So we move into the enemy phase. There are enemies on the table, but they're not doing anything. Uh, so we will move into the upkeep phase. We get another resource. We'll draw a card and we draw into opportunist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards. 
just flip these over. There we go. And we will move into the Mythos phase. So let's shift the up to here. We're now in turn eight. First Doom is down in the second agenda, so we are on the final run. There are still three cultists, um, so it would be good to get at least one more after Virginia Devereaux. We'll see how we go. But first of all, let's see what the good old encounter deck has for us. And it has another, oh boy, another one. Spend a clue or take two damage. Well, we're going to have to take the two damage. Yes, so uh, we're taking a bit of damage at the moment, but that's all right. We've still got four left, and we've got rid of the Mars Hunter, so we should be okay from here on in, I would have thought. Okay, let's move into the investigation phase. So we well, let's just have a look at where we are. So we've got two choices here. We could move um, and then... We can move, fight, fight, three actions. Uh, we've got three resources, so we could spend two resources, move and parley, which is four actions. I'm sorry, gain two resources, move and parley, which is four actions. So it's better to, and I'd rather keep the money because I want to get the two clues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move straight to north side. No messing around. There we go. Uh, Virginia Devereaux engages with us. That was our first action. Second action, we're going to hit her. She's a three. And we are a six. So a six V three. Six V three. Chaos bag, it gives us a minus three. So we succeed. Just. So that's two points. Um, we will do it again. Six V three. Six V three. And we get, that is a minus three. Yep, again, so two minus threes, wow. Yep, so we succeed again and she, um, oh, what am I doing, so it's six, four. We succeed and she, uh, she's in the victory display and the crowd goes wild. That's another ally in the display. Wow, that's three. There are only three left. So we're doing pretty well. So for our final action, um, I think what we do is we take a resource and then what we can do is we can use those resources to get ourselves two clues next time and we can bring out the next cultist. I think that's the quickest, most efficient thing to do. So that was a really, 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 really good round. Again, we moved. Um, we then engaged with Virginia Devereaux and we hit her twice and took her out and then we took a resource. All right, so no enemies to speak of. So we move into upkeep. There's another resource. Let's draw another card, and we draw into the survival knife. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. We'll flip these over. Okay. All good. So we move into the mythos phase. We are now in turn nine. We're second doom. So time is a marching on for Leo. Let's see, speaking of which, let's see what the encounter deck has, and it has false lead. Um, if you have no clues, false lead gains Surge. Surge is here. Hello, Surge, how are you? All right, let's uh, try again. And we get, of course, we get a good old Acolyte. And where are we going to put the Acolyte? This is a bit of a dilemma. Um, I'm going to put him at Miskatonic University, because even if Peter Warren comes out, he's only a one um because you only do two points of damage if you engage with one person so um but that's fine with him so we'll put the acolyte there because we want to we want to be able to deal with him okay let's just grab the doom First Acolyte we've had. We'll stick him there. Okay. In fact, if Peter Warren came out, it would be nice and efficient, actually, and not too bad. All right. So let's move into the uh, investigation phase. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to spend our five resources. 
which we can do here. Um, we can spend five resources, gain two clues. You can only do this once from the token pool, and then going to I'm not I'm not going to grab them because I'm immediately going to spend them, and we're going to spend them to find the next cultist. Who's the next cultist? Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Next cultist is Herman Collins. Well, that's kind of good because we've got lots of. Um, Man, the graveyard's been popular, hasn't it? <laughs> Leo loves a graveyard. Okay, well, all his ally friends are there. <laughs> I'll just go and have a look at some of my ally friends who I've killed and have been lost along the way. Okay, so we did go and get to Herman Collins. So, um, I, do we... Now, we've got a choice here. We could stay where we are and get two more clues, then move the Acolyte, because that might be more efficient, because we might get a... Because mm, it's only one Doom at the moment. So I'm thinking we could rush off to the graveyard, but then we've got to rush back, whereas maybe we're just better off um, getting finding out what the next cultist is. It's either going to be... Um, um, science guy here which is good or it's going to be um mortuary lady here <laughs> remember their names ruth turner or whatever uh who's the other one who else is left there's peter warren there's ruth turner is there only two? Oh, there is so i think i'm better off trying to get these clues because Otherwise, I'm going to make things very efficient because I could probably best to finish off with something like Herman Collins. So what I'm going to do is instead of... Oh, but I can't because I can't get out the flashlight. But I need it because... Oh, no, I don't. I've got perception here. So we... What is it again? It's a shroud of three. Um... And we are three. So why don't I do that? Why don't I put in perception and make it a five versus a three? Let's go for this. Let's see how we go. Five V three. Five versus three. Zero. So we succeed. So we draw a card. And yeah, we draw into another survival knife. So we have one more action left. because uh, So let's investigate again. Let's do it again. So we are a three and it is um, a three. So let's have a look at this. We can do a three, we can throw in opportunist, so that makes it a four. We can throw in one of the flashlights, so that makes it a five. So that's a five versus a three, that's pretty good. So for our final action, let's see if we can get this final clue. And we get a minus one and we succeed again. That's brilliant. So we get the second clue here on north side which means, if I'm not much mistaken, we uh, we get another victory point. Yes, and there goes the crowd. Wow, we get another victory point. So that's brilliant. So we've used a few resources up, but what we've managed to do this turn, excellent turn, is we threw in our five resources. We then, um, we then spent them on uh, two clues. Uh, we then spent it to get two clues. Sorry, we took our five resources and spent them to get the two clues. We then used the two clues immediately to get the ally out, which was Herman Collins. And then we successfully investigated twice to get two more clues. So next time we can bring out another one, another cultist, which then will set us up to get at least two more cultists. So things are going fairly okay at the moment. So we move into the, um, hello? So we'll move into the enemy phase. There are no enemies to speak of. Well, there are, but I don't think they're doing anything at the moment. Well, so we will move into the upkeep phase. Flip these over. Take a resource, draw a card, and we draw into another vicious blow. Awesome. 
Okay, so let's move into the Mythos phase. Now, um, that means there's another Doom Down uh, on the Acolyte. Just got to be aware of that. We can't let that get out of hand. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us. Oh, hold on. Well, before we get to that, uh, turn 10, 3 Doom. Well, it's actually more than that. There's 5 Doom now. Mm. We can't let that get out of hand. Okay, and then we drew the, yes, we drew the Hunting Night Gaunt. We'll just take care of him. Okay. That's the mythos phase. So we move into the investigation phase. It's pretty obvious what we're going to do here. We're going to fight this hunting night gaunt. So the first action is to machete him. He's a three and we are a six. Four, five, six. So I just think we do three V six. Chaos bag it gives us a skull. Um, that's a minus two. So that's uh, three V six. So that's still um, four versus three. So we succeed. We do two points. No point, Vicious blowing him. And then we do it again. Second action, we will fight him again. Chaos Bag gives us another Elder Sign. Can you believe this? How many Elder Signs have I had? It's incredible. There we go. So he's gone. So Hunting Night God is dead. Hooray. Uh, let's look at the top three cards of our deck. None of them are allies. I don't even know if, they know if there's any allies left. I think we've used up the allies, but anyway, we'll put, we've got to go through the motions. Or maybe we don't have to, I'm not sure. So let's shuffle them up. Okay, so that's got rid of the hunting night gaunt. There, let's, let's draw for the cultist. So we'll put in our two clues. So we'll throw in the two clues. Who do we get? Get Ruth Turner. Okay. So we get Ruth Turner. So I think we could mess around trying to get more clues, but I think the important thing is, is to try and get these two cultists uh, in the time we've got to kill this acolyte. It would have been nice to have gotten Peter Warren and we could have killed two birds with one stone, but it didn't happen. So I think next time we just get we just focus on these. So um, what do I do here with my final... Was that my final action? Hold on. What did we do? We... Um, let's try and remember what we did now. Ah, uh, we fought the Night Gaunt twice. We put in the two clues. We've got one action left. Um, 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 um probably take a resource. Yep. Okay. So we will move into the enemy phase. No enemies to speak of, so we move into upkeep. So we'll flip these over. We will take another resource. We will draw a card and we draw into Ah oh, Venture. We do get an ally. Um, but we can bring him out without losing somebody else, so maybe not. Okay, so we'll move into the Mythos phase. Let's shift up to here. So we are now in turn 11. We're halfway through, so we do need to get a move on. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us. And it has another Crypt Chill. Well, we don't want, this is one we don't want to fail. So we're a four versus a four, but we can use first aid to make that a five versus a four. I think... We make it a six versus a four. I don't want to lose either of the people I've got. Six v four, I think that's as good as we can get. So a six versus a four on the Crypt Chill. Oh, damn you, Crypt Chill. Damn you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, okay, well... Um... Beat Cop's going to have to go. I suppose we have room for the Venturer now. <laughs> um, yeah. Bloody hell. Can you believe it? 
Can you absolutely believe that? I can't believe it. There we go. Um, and I think if you fail, if you've got a clue, you put it back down, but we don't have a clue. So, yeah, so there's, that's, at least there's that. But, oh, my goodness, I can't believe that. Okay. All right. What a bugger. All right, so we move into the investigation phase. So we're going to take our free action and spend three and bring out the Venturer. There we go. Um, so that was just a free action that we get. Um, and then we're going to move to Miskatonic University as our first action. We'll move to Miskatonic University, which means we engage with the Acolyte. And I've just realized the Acolyte should have another Doom on, I think. Yes. There should be three Doom on the Acolyte. Let's just make sure it's not flip four, five, six, seven. Close. All right. So we will fight the Acolyte. So we will, um, will we wear a six. Six V3. Six V3. Chaos Bag <laughs> gives us a minus three when we succeed. So we can discard the uh, Acolyte. Okay. Um, so we moved, we fought. I'm going to move again. I'm going to be a bit bit rash here, um, even though. And I'm going to move to St. Mary's Hospital. I'm going to flip St. Mary's Hospital, and we are going to take on Ruth Turner. So we moved. We killed the Acolyte. We moved again, so we will attack Ruth Turner with a vicious blow. So that's a... Four, five, six, seven versus two. We're over egging it a little bit. But uh, seven versus two, so we succeed. So we do three points of damage to her. Okay. There we go. All right. So um, that's all pretty good. So next time we'll finish off Ruth Turner. Then we'll get over to see Herman Collins. Uh, and we will deal with him. All right, so there we go. That was a pretty good round. We moved. We got to Miskatonic University. We killed the Acolyte. We then moved to the hospital. Then we took on Ruth Turner. There we go. So we will move into the enemy phase. She does as I think she does a single point of damage. Uh, we'll, we'll stick that on. Uh, we'll stick that on the Ventura. Uh, then we move into the upkeep phase. So that's another resource. We draw a card. Draw into uh, Trusted. Um, yeah. Plus one health and sanity. That's good. Um, yeah, we'll flip these over. Okay. Then we will move into the Mythos phase. So now we're in turn 12. There are now five Doom Down. We're really running out of time. Let's see what the encounter deck has. It's got a locked door. So I guess we won't be... Well, we can. We can get, still get the clue from here, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, let's put the locked door down here. There we go. Whoops. Okay. So let's move into the investigation phase. Don't need to put out any allies. So the first action is we will hit Ruth Turner again. So we're a four, five, six... No, we're not as four, five, six. I think I did. Yeah, I did said it was seven versus two. We still succeeded. Um, so it's a four. It's a four, five, five versus two. Chaos bag gives us a zero. So she is in the victory display. Oops, there's the victory display gone, and the crowd goes wild. Here we go. Fantastic. Great. Okay, so, right, so where are we now? We're in turn five, so we've got two turns left. We've got eight, eight actions, essentially. Um, so we could get a clue here. 
we could then move to south side and get another clue but i think the problem is i don't want us to end up so i think what we do is we move into oh hold on how many actions have we got left three actions one two three but then herman collins will attack us um The last person's Peter Warren, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I think we don't mess around. I think we just take three ac three actions and move to the graveyard. Herman Collins uh, engages with us. I know it's kind of a little bit crazy, but it doesn't matter in the investigator games. We don't want to mess around. If we're going to get, if we, uh, I think yeah, let's let's do that. So we do three actions. Um, the enemy phase, we take a horror, and um, we take another damage from Herman Collins. Then we'll move into the upkeep phase. So we will flip these over. We'll take another resource and we will draw a card. And we draw into evidence. Yes, evidence. Why well, would have been anyway. Would have been nice to have gotten evidence before because we could have gotten ourselves a clue, but anyway, never mind. So we'll move into the Mythos phase. Let's shift up to here. So we are now in turn 13. We're in six, go six. Let's see what the encounter deck has us. And it has another, <laughs> another um, Acolyte. Well, let's put the Acolyte here with a Doom. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's move into the investigation phase. First action, uh, I think we just throw in four cards. One, two, three, four. We throw in four cards. Uh, that's what we do, isn't it? We parley four cards. There we go. Herman Collins is in the victory display. Crowd goes wild. There is literally only one cultist left. Yes, wonder who that could be. So there we go, that was our first action. So what do we do now? So, um, well, obviously the first thing we need to do is get rid of the Acolyte. Um, we could then go to Miss Cotonic University and get the two clues and then hopefully we can kill Peter Warren. So let's try and do that. I don't know if we can do it, but we can try. So let's move here. So uh, the Acolyte engages with us. So let's fight the Acolyte. So we are a five, five versus three. Chaos Bag gives us a zero, so the, the Acolyte is dead. And then for our final action, we will move to Miskatonic University. I think this is not gonna work. I just don't think we're gonna have the time. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I think we're just going to be short. All right, so we will move into the enemy phase. No enemies to speak of. So we move into upkeep. There's a three. We get a card. We get another venturer. Let's see what we get. Um, here we are. We're in turn 14. There are seven dune down. This is our final turn. Um... Let's see what the encounter deck has. And it's got a locked door. <laughs> uh, oh, it's the locked door is where there's the most, uh, most clues. Well, I'm going to stick the locked door in downtown. I have to stick it at Miskatonic University. Well, I might go for downtown for a change. Why not? Okay. Um, oops. There we go. All right. So we move into the investigation phase. We literally have four turns left. 
We've got one cultist. I really don't think we can do it. That was an amazing achievement. I hope I did everything right. We, that really came down to the wire. Having Leo De Luca really, really helped. If it wasn't for Leo De Luca, we would not have done it. So that was a brilliant outcome. So there we have it. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to have to go and have a lie down after that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate all of that. Now, next time in the Investigator Games, it's going to be hard to beat Leo now, that's for sure. We will be going through uh, the Midnight Masks with everybody's favourite explorer, Ursula Downs. But until then, I'm Crowy Terror 8 Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. I don't remember if I shuffled them. Ooh, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember either way. So um, if I didn't, I apologize. I'm pretty sure I usually do. So, but it just seems unusual to get another vicious blow, but it's possible. So uh, I might just check actually, because I'll know if it's the same thing again. No, it's not. It would have been a weakness. There we go. So I will shuffle those up. I'll just cut that bit out. <sighs> Memories like the shuffling of my draw deck. Wonderful memories of drawing allies we used to know. Anyway. <laughs>